to err is human to forgive is divine said alexander pope born on 21st may 1688 in london the united kingdom died on 30th may 1744 in uk was an english poet translator and satirist of the augustan period one of its greatest artistic exponents considered the foremost english poet of the early 18th century and master of the heroic couplet he is best known for satirical and discursive poetry including the rape of the lock the dunciad and an essay on criticism and for his translation of homely alexander pope said to err is human to forgive is divine to err yes that is the way of life and when whenever the child makes a mistake everybody gets angry even when you get angry you are not observing you have reached a stage of unconsciousness of a borrowed knowledge that stage is called the stage where you were not a regular practitioner of your sanskrit you got disconnected from your truth disconnected from your soul disconnected from your family and when you are disconnected you are wavering from left to right alexander tour is human it is so beautiful to see the child when kavir ishi was with us from 6 months or so it was a beautiful time for us oh kavir ishi no went on her chest she started crawling and we all run to see crawling yes oh kavir ji she started sitting and she she falls down we again put her back when she start walking it was great fun because every day she falls and it is fun for her oh she start walking bum she falls down bum she falls down is it not that an happy moment and the moment uh, kavir ji walks the whole school starts screaming i thought something happened and rushes up to see and it was beautiful they said kavir ji start walking and she, when she opened her mouth to say something we everybody ran oh kavir ji started talking yes such was the beauty of the tour is human when you can look into that beauty your natural nature of that child you can find out everything when a person does it you have to only give a small helping hand like the japanese children are taught every time like if i sit in the train or anywhere they come and pull the newspaper they don't even say excuse me but japan from childhood it is mean excuse me sumimo sen is a way of life and for anything and everything i'm sorry thank you sorry thank you the child understands when somebody scolds also they say I'm sorry thank you first of all that scolding is for to correct it to create a beauty to make it grow in a perfect manner to err is human to forgive is divine forgiveness is when you understand that you are enjoying that they made a mistake and when you and that person who made a mistake have got a relationship have got a friendship then forgiveness you don't have to forgive you will just enjoy to correct it up such is the beauty to forgive is divine that is first part the second part is to err is human no 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 try 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 again at last to succeed that english proverb which came and destroyed the whole world no no try 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 again and people kept on trying they never became rich they kept on trying because tomorrow they'll get another chance no one mistake leads to 10000 don't make the first mistake practice make the child conscious and the first consciousness is teach the child the one one look the child will put the head one look and the child has already measured the height and the weight the color of the eyes the nose everything that went from india and now nobody knows that that observation when the child has got where is that mistake that you can try 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 again and till you succeed no They have created the damage. Never, never, never do that. 
try 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 again never to or is human and then the group comes to forgive that's what happens in the indian movies the hero and the villain yes the villain makes a mistake the hero goes no forgiveness in that it is just a death and the hero is worshiped first of all no those are the way of life the child is taught to, to practice a thousand times before it goes to the stage and the acting happens of its own it strikes without thinking that you practice 10000 ticks 100000 ticks when you reach 500000 times the kick belongs to you you want that kick and your time comes to strike it sees the gap boom the gap is boom yes a smallest gap you have to plug the loophole suddenly because otherwise somebody else takes it off to err is human you have been taught and to forgive you think you became a hero to forgive create trouble in the village and then the great swami ji will come the maharishi will come the chief minister will come and say forgive you created you have not done anything a smallest mistake they attack they did not find out how to correct that problem in that place yes. to err is human to forgive is divine that divineness comes if divine is like wine you get drunk into that beauty and then you don't have to forgive to err is human first of all there is no err there is no mistake the err and the, the the good and the bad the lies and the truth are created to control the human society because they for, they they have dis, made them disconnect from the family and when they got disconnected from the family they knew they have not been maturing from the samskriti when you are matured from the samskriti where there is right and wrong there is no right and wrong everything is a happiness is a satori orgasmic experience towards enlightenment alexander pope said err is human to forgive is divine yes that is also very good one two is first of all don't err to not to err practice a thousand times after the teachers teaches you come back home and you practice a thousand times in conscious state before you go the next day and the house early morning then there is no error at all there is no mistakes at all then there is no forgiveness you will only enjoy that travel the drama of the question and the answer and when the examination comes you don't feel that somebody will come to examine it is just a poetry that you are going to write